manifestation, but we'll be taking drink orders. And eat, drink, and be merry. For merriment is in full supply on this 12th night of December. <laughs> Six subtle dick jokes.
He thought she purged the air of pestilence. That instant was I turned into a heart, and my desires like fell a cruel hound pursuing me our sin. How now? What news of her? Oh, right. Uh, I guess yeah, she didn't want to talk to me. She's been really freaking depressed. Uh, she's been crying. Something about being veiled. Something. Oh, she's veiled like a cloistress so no one can see her face. Something. <laughs> Sorry, she won't have the heart of that fine brain to pay this debt of love him. And to a brother? How will she love when the rich golden shaft and kill the flock of all the affections else that live in her? Away! Oh, Look for me! Or this weak head of flowers! Oh, love hot white bread with canopy with flowers! What country, my friends, is this? This is Illyria, my lady. What's there to do in Illyria? My brother is in Elysium. He's not drowned. What can you do, sailors? Well, it didn't turn out like you were the only one who survived, but if you can comfort in this time of need, I did see him holding on to the mast as the ship was sinking. So there's a possibility. Thank you for saying so. There's a goal. Who governs here? Oh, a noble duke, as in his name, as in his nature. And what is his name? Orsino. Orsino? I heard my father name him. He was a bachelor then. Yeah, he still is. He's been reigning over uh, the fair maid in Olivia. But, uh... What's she? she? She's hot, I'll say that. Uh, but... but
If he mend, then he be no longer dishonest. If he cannot mend himself, yeah, let the boss mend it. Anything that's mended is but patch. A good man that transgresses is but patch with his skin, and a sinful one that amends is but patch with virtue. Uh, if that is uh, the syllogism, uh, sir, so. If not, what remedy? The lady may take away the fool, therefore I say again, take her away. Sir, I bid them take away you. Oh, Miss Prisian in the highest degree? Oh, lady, Kukulis no Pachit Manashum. That's as much to say. I'm not as dumb as I look. <laughs> Give me leave to prove you a fool, Donna. Can you do it? Dexterously, good Madonna. Make your proof. Good Madonna, why mournest thou? Why for my brother's death? I think his soul is in hell, Madonna. I know his soul is in heaven, fool. The more fool to mourn a brother's soul being in heaven. Take away the lady, gentlemen. What think you on this fool, Malvolio? Don't you not mend? Yes, and shall do till the pains of death take him. In that the case the wise so will never make the better fool. Well, God send you, sir, speedy infirmity for the better increasing your folly. <laughs> sir Toby will be sworn, and I am no fox, but he will not pass his word for two pence that thou art no fool. <gasps> Ooh, what sayest thou to that, Malvolio? I marvel that your ladyship takes delight in such a barren rascal. You know, I saw him look down at you by an ordinary fool who had no more wit than stone. Look you now, he's out of his guard already. Unless you laugh and minister occasion to him, he is gas. I think these wise men who crow so with the fool's aid are no better than the fools themselves. You are sick of self-love and taste for the distempered appetite. You take yourself too seriously. <laughs> for there can be no railing in an allowed fool, though he do nothing but rail and no slander in a known discreet man, though he do nothing but reprove. Let thy life be true, Madonna, for thou feelest well of the words. Madam, there is a lady that this woman must desire to speak with you. From the Calversino, is it? I am not, Madam. Who of my people keep them in delay? Your uncle, Madam, Sir Toby. Tell him to piss off. Now, holy uncle. If it's a suit for my mouth, tell him I am sick or not at home. What you will to Now you see how your fooling grows old and people dislike it. Well, thou hast spoken for us, Madonna. As if thy eldest son was a fool, whose soul drove crab with brains. <laughs> well, but here comes one of your kids with less brains. But <laughs> <laughs> two of them? You have two uncles? <laughs> That's news to me, too. <laughs> A gentleman. A gentleman? What gentleman? Yeah. Tis a gentleman. <laughs> How now? Sought. Good, Sir Toby. Cousin. Third degree. 
told so. But he says he'll stand at your door like a sheriff's post and he'll be the supporter of a bench, but he'll speak with you. What kind of man is he? Oh, why, a man guy. What manner of man? Oh, a very ill manner. He'll speak with you, will you or no? Mm. Of what personage in years is he? Uh, not quite old enough for a man, nor young enough for a boy. As a squash is, tis before a peas cup. Between boy and man? Right. To put it in lame in terms, madam, he's a twin. <laughs> <laughs> well, that changes things. Go ahead and let him in. <laughs> Here. 
For what is decreed must be. And be this so.
contagious friends, I might add. Very sweet and contagious. Oh, no. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, shall we three rouse the night with a little more hand? What do you say? Yeah, we should. Um, might as well. And let our next, uh, next song, our next song, our next catch. Anybody have our any song quests? Be a song. Super bass. Super bass. I do not know <laughs> Super bass. I don't know either. <laughs>
legal. What? Thoroughbred, admirable. What of that? I was admired once too. <laughs> uh, sent from our money nights, led us to bed. If I cannot recover your niece, then I am a foul way out. Uh, sent from our money nights, uh, led us to bed.
singing? <laughs> Once more, Cesario, get thee to say the unsung sovereign cruelty. But tell her that I don't care about her fortune. But she cannot love I cannot be answered so. so but you must. Say there is some woman who has as great a thing of heart for you as you have for Olivia. There is no woman whose side can buy so beating of a passion that love doth give my heart. Make no compare between the love that a woman can bear me and that I owe Olivia. My father had a daughter that once loved a man to the zoo. Oh. And what's her history? At length, my lord. She left before she could give an answer. But I'm the sister of her love, my boy. Yes, my boy. Shall I be off? Aye, that's the thing. Give her this jewel. Tell her my love can give no place. Bye, no today. Jove knows my love, but who? 
No man must know. God, I wish that were me. Uh, give it, give it a name. I make man what I adore. Him who the eye don't swing my life. Come on. Come on. You'll figure it out, man. The rage resembles something in me. Do you know what I do? Oh. Him. Him. Now, boy, you What? <laughs>
and some have great distress upon them. What in the goddamn hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> see the young my yellow stockings still. The yellow stockings? If not, be a certain morning view. This is very midsummer madness. <laughs> Lady, I'm sorry. Didn't know this was happening. But your boy boy's here. Oh, great! I'll come to him. It's Maria! Where's Tony? I, for some reason, I feel like he's the only person equipped enough to deal with that. So, <laughs> let him know you find Tony. Look at me go! <laughs> no worse a man than Toby to look after me. She sends him on purpose, of course, so that I can insult him. After all, as the letter said, cast thy humble slow. Be opposite with the kinsmen, the servant, the servants. Let thy tongue tang politics of state. There's no way that the bottle would go wrong. Everything checks out here. <laughs> I, I believe in God. Where is, is he in the name of sanctity? If the devil possesses him, I'll do something about it. Ah, there he is. Here he is. Alice with you, sir. <laughs> go off! I discard you. Go off! Let me enjoy my pride. Lo, how hollow the beast speaks within him. Did I not tell you? Mr. Toby, your niece, your niece prays you have a care of him. <laughs> but, uh, peace, peace, with thee, for thee, peace. I shall deal with him alone. <laughs> How do you do, Malvolio? <laughs> <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> Buddy, it's a high five, Malvolio. <laughs> Did nobody teach you a the devil possessed him, I swear to God. You know what you say, sir! Whoa, whoa. You lie, you know what you speak of the devil, how he takes it to heart. Gen I pray God he could not be wished. Gently, Sir Toby, gently, the beam will not be roughly used. Maybe he carry his water to the wise woman. Mary, oh, shall be done tomorrow morning if I live. Peace, peace, I prithee. Peace. How do you do, Malvolio? How about a handshake, buddy? Look, you just gotta say prayers to My rosemary! Oh, Lord! I prithee, peace. Peace. Now go hang yourselves all. You're all idle things. I am not of your element. I am the fashing golden god. <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible, huh? <laughs> I swear to God. Come, if nothing else, <laughs> I roll down to have him in a dark room, bound where he cannot see. No, it's not. not it's, it's, that's that doesn't mean what I sure. say. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thirty minds. Thirty minds. I swear to God. <laughs> but anyway. if nothing else, we'll just have him in a dark room where he can't see. And uh, we'll continue to fuck with them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what do you say? Let's keep hey, fucking yeah. with them. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait, here. Here's oh. the letter. Read it. Lord, there's vinegar and pepper in it. Why? Baskin? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a 1600s, stupid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the letter that Sir Andrew is challenging. Cesario. Cesario with. <laughs> Youth, whatsoever thou art, thou art but a damned rapstallion. <laughs> Good and valiant. Wonder not, nor walk in thy mind, for I do call thee so, for I will show thee no reason for it. Yep. Good to keep you from the blow of the law. Very good. Thou comest to the Lady Olivia, and in my sight she uses thee kindly, but thou liest in thy pinky toe, and it is not the matter I challenge thee for. Very great, seemingly the good sense. But I will waylay thee going home, where if it be thy chance to frolic me, good. Watch out. Thank you. Thou frolicest. On me like a rogue <laughs> and a villain. Oh, uh, no. This is the Mad Lips, ladies and gentlemen. Fare <laughs> thee well, and Rick Moranis have mercy upon fifty 
queen of our bullfrogs. <laughs> he may have mercy upon mine, but my hope is better. And so look to thyself, thy friend, as thou usest him, and thy sworn enemy, Sir Andrew Aggieface T. Exceedingly <laughs> <laughs> good. Still keep you over the windy side of the lawn. Yeah. Admittedly, I didn't know you know how to read. It didn't sound like you could read either. <laughs> Fair enough, dear True. Anyways. But, if nothing else, I will deliver thy letter, my challenge, to him. Great. You may have a very good opportunity for it. The count you is right now with my lady and we'll find my heart. Uh, oh, okay. Well, if nothing else, we'll just uh, figure it out as time goes on. Just, uh, we'll call you. I'm gonna say my line in the right time this time. Nay, let me alone for swearing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out, dear knight. Yeah. So, very well. <laughs> so, what I'm not going to do is deliver the letter specifically because, I mean, you all heard that shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but, what I will do is deliver thy challenge by word of mouth. And if nothing else, they're likely <laughs> to kill each other. Okay. And that'll be fun! <laughs> right? right? Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, that's part of the show. Thank you. Yeah, good job. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, about the whole crazy girl thing I gave you earlier. My love life right. is just over right here.
fucking kill you. These women <laughs> crimes against humanity, Cuban Missile Crisis. Like, wait, nobody died in the Cuban Missile Crisis. Anyway, he will fucking kill you, but he has promised that he will not hurt you. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> he is a man of valor, and if nothing else, he may give you his horse. Oh, that gives me so much peace and confidence. Thank you. Good. If nothing else, I'll bring him to you, and we shall do it. Listen, you're gonna, you're, uh, he's fucking crazy. He may kill you, <laughs> but he has promised he won't hurt you because he's a soldier of honor. Okay, pray God he keeps his own. Loose the shoulder, loose the shoulder. Okay. Get around it. Alright, ready? Ready? Three, two, one, five! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Pull it up, you're a boy! 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 you are a what 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 what
attempts to free have nothing works. <laughs> I just, I, if you come with me, I will tell you all about it. It's a really long story. Step on me. Nay, <laughs> <laughs> hey, pretty. Would that be ruled by me? What? Will you let me talk to you? Yeah. Go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Aye, good fool. 
Oh, how fell you beside your five wits? Oh, good fool. Never was a man thus abused. They've laid me here in hideous darkness and ministers to me and do all sorts of freaky, kinky shit to my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, fool, I'm as well as my wits as you are. Oh, but as well, then, sir, you cannot be but mad if you are as well in your wits as a fool. No, that's a dirty trick. I'm as well as any man in Illyria. What a day that you were, sir. Uh, come on, fool, just, just bring me some pen and paper and just something so I can write it down for Olivia. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to believe that you're not crazy until I see your brain myself, but... I will bring you pen and paper and ink. Wait, wait, really? Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you for all our in the highest degree. Go, go now. Oh, I am gone, sir. And the non sir, I'll be with you soon again. In a trice, watch the old fight. Go, dagger of blast in his rage and his wrath. That's basically, as I do remember well, 
but when I saw it last, it would be smeared as black as Vulcan in the smoke of war. What's the matter? Orsino, this is that Antonio did the Phoenix for, and did take the tiger when your nephew Titus lost his leg. In private travel here in the streets, did we apprehend him? What gave you the ball to come back here? It's Orsino, no for sir. Though I confess, Orsino's enemy, a witchcraft, drew me hither. That most ungrateful boy there by your side, ah! denied mine own purse, I saved his ah! life. You stole his purse? How can this be? <laughs> when came you to this town? Today, my lord, and for three months before. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, come shit. all the oh, way back to Miss Olivia. What the fuck uh, are you doing? Cesario, <laughs> you do not keep promise with me. <laughs> Madam? This is still so cruel. Oh, 
bed and was stricken, you would have been married to a man and a woman. Oh. 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 I shall share in this happy wreck. What's going on here? Let me see thee in thy woman's weed. Oh, the emperor of public. A sister. You are she. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Idea, hold yourself. Idea. <laughs> what if we had like a big wedding, kind of join the families a little bit? I have this dude, uh, what's his name? Malvolio, who could, oh my god, I forgot about Malvolio. <laughs> I mean, who can keep track of all their servants? Oh my god, god. I know. Hey! Oh. I'm right. Hey, Shut uh, up! Who are, are you again? Malvolio, can you do it over there? Malvolio? Yeah. Oh, truly, madam, he holds belts above its staves and as well as a man in his state may do. <laughs> yellow stockings only to be made to talk his gimp in front of a priest. <laughs> oh, that's what was going on down there. Yeah. I hate to break it to you, Malvolio, but this is not my handwriting. Uh, Tis Maria's hand, though, much like the character. And this actually makes sense because she was the one who told me that you were kind of going through oh. something and she seemed real happy about it, so. Yeah. Seems like you've been hugged. <laughs> and this, my lady, I feel the confession may be in order. For I confess it was Sir Toby and I who set this device against Malvolio. Oh. For whereon he have done Maria, Toby, and myself the most uncourteous parts in our jest, whereupon Maria hath print the letter to him in thy hand at the hands of Sir Toby, whereupon he hath married her. Oh, muzzle! <laughs> And from thence you were locked into darkness. And while this might be a time for some pity, it was also a greater time for laughter. <laughs> Wasn't it, Malvolio? We had fun, didn't we? I don't know what the fuck is real anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how they have fooled you. Well, some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have it. Thrust upon me. Oh, I'm the one, sir, in this interlude. One Sir Topas, sir, but that's all one. By the Lord, fool, I am not mad. But do you remember? Madam, why laugh you at such a fair and rascal, and you smile not, he gags. And thus, the whirling of time doth bring about his revenges. Pursue 
And that is known in golden time convention. A solemn combination of our souls shall be made. Meantime, sweet sister, we shall not part hence. Cesario, come. For while you are a man, so you shall be. But when other habits you are seen, Orsino's mistress and fancy's queen. Woo! <laughs> Mwah! <laughs>